Earth only has one sun, but if in the beginning of the solar system there were two suns, well, that would change everything. Most likely, if that were the case, we wouldn't be discussing this right now, as then Earth wouldn't even exist as we know it. The whole solar system would look a lot different, since in the beginning phase, when the stars spew out material, out of that you get planets. But if you have two stars, then obviously you would get completely different planets. And even then, most of these planets would likely be thrown out of the orbit, since the orbit would be unstable due to two stars being so close. But still, there are actually planets with two suns that are around us. One of them is in the Kepler-34 system. In that system, there are two stars that are similar in size to our sun. And because of that, they orbit a center where the center of mass is at. But around that, there orbit two Saturn-sized planets, Kepler-34b and 34a. So with that system, we get a pretty good picture as to what our solar system would look like. And from what it seems, if solar system in the beginning had two suns, then there would probably be just a few planets, while the rest of the stuff would probably be gone and out of orbit, sent flying into space. Okay, so that is a scenario in which there were two suns in the beginning of the solar system. But what would happen if suddenly a new star appeared similar in mass to the sun close to the sun? Well, what would happen is a catastrophe. So our sun and the new star that just appeared would then form a center around which they will orbit. But the rest of the planets would be ejected out into the outer space, away from the sun. That is because the point of center of mass was changed. What that would mean is that if suddenly the new sun appeared, it would be only cool for a little while, as there would be a day on the other side of the globe, and obviously there would be two suns making the scenery overly bright. But as the days would pass, we would be noticeably further away from two stars. And as the Earth would be getting further away, the temperature would then drastically drop. From the poles, the ice formation would start to spread. Humans would obviously be in a panic, as there would be nothing they could do to stop the sudden freezing. Even nuking the Earth would not help much in this freezing event. As the Earth would be moving further away from two stars, that would also mean that the surface would be completely pitch black at some point. Most likely is that most people will die in this scenario. The only ones that would get to survive would need to live under the oceans, where there is liquid water, but they would also need to have enough power to survive underwater. But all of that is actually possible. Still, the rest of the humanity would be gone, while the few people that survived would not live a very good life. So, even if a second star were to suddenly appear in the solar system, that would be horrible news, as it would really freeze us to death. Now, that is a scenario in which the Earth is ejected, but let's see what would happen in a scenario where the Earth is in orbit around two suns without much of a problem. In a scenario where the Earth has two suns and is comfortably orbiting around them in the same position as before, then things would at first be very interesting. Obviously, the day and the day-night cycle would be longer, depending on how apart the two suns are. But most importantly, the luminosity of two stars would be enormous, double the current luminosity. What that would mean is that more sunlight would be reaching the surface of the Earth, causing for a drastic temperature rise, and that would be immediately noticeable. Snow would soon start to disappear, and as the temperature would rise, it would have a sort of effect where suddenly the surface would be trapping more heat than releasing, causing temperatures to go higher and higher. It could get to the point of where the oceans would dry up. Of course, in this scenario, we all die, since without the most essential ingredient for life, water, there is no life for us either. Of course, a few people could survive if they somehow escaped into space with water. But if that were to happen, they would still not survive for much longer, because we still cannot independently survive in space without help coming from the Earth. In reality, this scenario in which the Earth goes around two suns is a really bad thing, 
despite it sounding cool. 